Good day viewers, Walter here on the Beat Wall Part Channel. I recently made a video down with a G05 switcher at Griffin, Georgia, switching in the south yard, and there was a trespasser in the yard that crossed over the train. So I thought I'd talk to you a little bit on that subject, just sort of a vlog. Uh, we're looking at some of the comments that people made on that particular video. A lot of people were asking isn't it dangerous? Why didn't the crew say something to them? Things like that. And uh, really, the train crew see this kind of stuff every day. In fact, some people are so arrogant, if you try to talk to them, they're just going to fly off the handle, and train crews get tired of trying to warn them. You see them day after day. I've seen it more than once myself. And I thought I'd share a couple of things with you that you might not think about. As we look at this video a little bit here, uh, you can look at the comments on the, if you watch the video, but I thought, just, I thought I'd just talk about it a little bit. Now, one of the comments they made was, uh, my reply was, the train crews see this kind of stuff all the time. Now, you... I've seen people that got hurt doing that more than once. We've had employees got hurt doing that. And I, for one, am guilty of doing the same thing that you saw the lady do in the phone, in the, that you saw the lady do in the video. Step on the cut lever, step across the coupler, although I'm sure she stood on top of the coupler climb down on the other side. Now, that's the quickest way across, but it's not safe. Employees are supposed to climb up a seal step, climb up the ladder, work their way around between the cars on the crossover platform, walk across the platform, grab the ladder on the other side, climb down the seal step on the other side, and stand down on the ground. Um, one of the viewers commented that They've seen people cross under the train. The only train that I've ever, the only car that I would ever go underneath, and I've been guilty of it a lot of times, usually in a train where I have blue flag protection and I know nobody can come and couple up to me. But that's a center flow car. You can, there's enough room to just bend over and step under a center flow car and walk right under and step out the other side. and that, is a very quick way to get to the other side. Now, when you're working in a train yard and you got to get from one side of the train yard to the other side of the train yard, uh, there could be as many as uh, the yards that I worked in, it could be like 20 or 25 tracks in there. Uh, some, of the res some of the yards got more tracks than that. So there might be 10 or 15 trains. You got to cross over. <coughs> You get quite proficient at getting across that train yard when you're out there trying to get a job done. If you have to climb up and down and get across that platform, nobody's looking. If somebody's looking, you better do it the right way if you want to keep your job. But I'm sure many of our employees have just hopped across them trains, but we're professionals at doing it. We're not amateurs. I have been standing in between the cars, straddling the couplers, with my feet on one seal, uh, cut lever and my other foot on the other cut lever and just kind of stand in straddle of the couplers when the train actually started moving. Well, first of all, I got a death grip on the handhold, so there's no way I'm going to release my grip. But it's just a matter of just continuing your trip across and you'll safely get across. I've had that happen to me a couple of times. But that's against rules. Um, but what I wanted to point out with the young lady was uh, it, it is quite dangerous for her to do that. I recall once down in Columbus, Georgia, I was working, uh, had to go to Columbus, Georgia in the train yard down there and uh, meet with my boss. I was based out of Columbus at that time. And as I was leaving the train yard, 
there's a dirt road I'm driving down. I hear somebody yelling, and this train's on my left all the way across the train. Said, help me, help me. Well, I better go see what this is all about. I see a guy laying on a flat car. Uh, it was a piggyback, I guess it was, a TTX car. And he was laying up on the end of the car. And I walked across the train yard to get to where he was. And what had happened, he was stepped up on that cut of cars with his foot behind the horn of the coupler. He didn't couplers a telescope in and out on the piggyback cars so the draft gears cushion device uh, the couplers will actually the car will close up on the back of that coupler and what it did it mashed his foot it mashed his foot darn near off he was bleeding pretty good there's nobody but me and him miles and miles of trains and I'm looking at him, and he ain't dead, he's alive, he's talking to me, and he's the scroungiest looking thing you've ever seen. Uh, I would, I'd think real hard before I give somebody a whole lot of personal first aid when they look like him. Now this is the time when there was a big scare going around about AIDS and stuff. You found out that you can catch these diseases from people just by being exposed to their blood. And that's the first thing that came to my mind. Well, I could put a tourniquet on it. I'm going to get his blood all over me. It's all over the end of this car. Maybe he'll be all right. I'll just call him for some help. So I got on the radio, called the tower down there. and said, send the ambulance down here. This guy done got mashed in between the cars. And it took him 10 or 15 minutes to get there. But I had made up my mind. Unless I thought he was just going to bleed absolutely to death, that he was just got to lay there and wait for help. And that's just the way it was. I didn't want to catch no kind of disease from him. Uh, and that might be a little one-sided, but the self-preservation always comes first. Anyway, we got him some help and loaded him in an ambulance and carried him on the way. And it turned out he was okay. He just lost his foot. But that's just one example. Uh, you can get more than that. I've seen, uh, I know of incidents, incidences where people have been run over by the trains. And that's not a nice thought, stuff to think about. It's kind of uncomforting when they call you up and tell you to go inspect a train, looking for human remains. That's been known to happen too in my, in my case. Uh, but my viewers are right when they talk about it not being safe. Now, I've told you the proper way to get across the train, and that's for employees only. Uh, if you're a trespasser, you got no business in the train yard at all. they got signs everywhere telling you no trespassing. The railroad police will arrest you, and they will prosecute you. Nine times out of ten, they will prosecute you. They don't want to put up with uh, trespassers in the train yards. I've had hobos on trains running into people out in the yard. Some of them are just arrogant as hell, and they'll kill you if they get a chance. Uh, I've shared many of a story about hobos on this channel, but I just wanted to share that little vlog with you. Uh, Employees can get hurt just as well. Uh, there was a carman in the receiving yard at him and got his foot mashed off the same way. Uh, on a cut of cars being shoved to the hump. Uh, I can't remember the name right off of him. But it's not a safe thing to do. My viewers are absolutely right. But if you're ever out there around a train yard and you think twice about walking it's a lot safer to go all the way around the train. You got no business crossing over it. Not a whole lot to be logged today. I just wanted to share that little bit of um, discussion We you and have something to talk about. Some of my viewers will say, I'm sure, well, you should have got up there and gave him first aid. Uh, I wasn't going to get none of his blood on me at that time. Uh, 
it would be a heck of a way to go you got some disease from somebody just trying to help them. But I made a better uh, common sense judgment that he was going to be all right. And he was. Anyway, I just want to share that little story with you. Story with you. Stay out of the train yards. Don't trespass. Don't climb over trains. Uh, the trains will kill you. I've worked on cars, under cars, around cars. Uh, you name it, I've done it. I've seen it. Anyway, not a whole lot of exciting vlog. I was going to read some of the comments, but I've already talked way too much. I'm looking at it right here. Let's see. No, the print's too small for these glasses. All right. Thanks for tuning in on my little vlog today. It's titled Crossing Over a Train Blog. Thanks for listening. You'll take care as people all par. Wishing everybody well.